all right guys so in this video we'll see how the primary gates work okay if you know primary gates it's and or and not okay these are the primary digital gates we use in digital electronics and in many circuits so here you'll find the, these gates first is the and 2 this is 2 input and gate and if you know and gate it is a dot b okay so for your reference I'm going to use a note here to write the boolean of this and gate okay so and gate it's already and so I'll write a dot b is equivalent to c so a dot b is your input okay and this dot <coughs> is different from the dot in arithmetic this is an and operation okay don't get confused so in and operation I won't be using numerical values because here we use bit values so I'm going to take this bit okay this is a bit operation bitwise operations bitwise functions as well so I'm taking this bit and this bit as well so this is my AND gate and I need an output here so I'll go to output take one other bit so first I'll connect with the output input like that now AND says if your first input is off and second one is off output will be off if you know the truth table it is one this is 0 dot 0 as 0 okay so if I turn this on this will be off or if I turn this on this is off so this says if any of the input is on not both then also output will be off if both inputs are on then only output will be on so this is on okay the zero is not the result this illumination of light this means output is on okay this is the address which you can give zero one two that's up to you all right <clears throat> so this is your and operation in which if both inputs are on then only output will be on that's a simple and all right so I should have right here and gate this is your expression of AND gate alright now let's see the next one which is three input AND gates so here you can three you can have three inputs okay so <clears throat> let's take this input here oh I can, cannot take that so I need to take one more so sorry I think I took the add one I was getting confused this is the three input AND gates okay so you can use this input as well two and this is three you can take another bit over here and give it address one connecting like that now in this case if all three inputs are on then only output will be on not otherwise not in any other case so in AND gates you need all the inputs to be on this is also called CD circuit when you work on ladder logic <coughs> or any other industrial control logics this is a series gate or you can say that AND gate it means switches are connected in series that's your AND gate okay so there's one more which is called OR gate so let's take these OR two inputs and three inputs okay and I can take this inputs I can copy that that is the best thing I like about connectio you can copy paste your inputs so placing it a little above now in R gate I should write the expression this is if any of the input is on output will be on and the sign for this R is plus this is the boolean sign okay so don't get this is not arithmetic plus this is R gate plus so connecting this input to here here and here oops although it doesn't make any difference but still okay now from the output I can take one more bit from here let's give the address of 2 this is the result of 2 input AND gate and one more this would be the result of 3 input AND gate this bit with the address of 3 okay here I've given the 3 now in R gate if you know if any of the input is on let's talk about this 2 input if any of the input is on output will be on or if both inputs are on this is off only in case if both inputs are off so in this case you can see that this is on <coughs> even in this case because it also says if any of the input is on output is on so in all three cases output will be on it just need only one input to turn on the outputs the only way to turn off the results of OR gate is to turn off all the inputs like that now you can see that this is on because this first input is on last input here you can see this is on 
So that's the difference between your AND gate. This is generally a series gate. This is called a parallel gate. Okay. Let's place it above. Now we have one more gate, which is NOT gate. I can copy paste here. And this is NOT. NOT gate says A is equal to A bar. Now I cannot write bar here, so I'm using this symbol. This is A bar, it means A inverse. Whatever the value of A is, the inverse value will be the output. So let's take a NOT gate here. That's my NOT gate. And I can take one input, connect the input here, and one output bit with the address 4. This is the output. So you see, input is off and output is on. This is the inverse of input. If input is on, output is off. Okay, this is your NOT gate. These are the primary gates which are used in this electronics and using these primary gates we can make other customized gates. We can make more boolean expressions using this AND, OR and NOT. Okay, if you have any queries, although you may not because this is what everybody learns in electronics. So, But the, fun the idea is to show you that how we can use gates in this connect IO as well. Okay, and in the next video we'll be making some boolean expressions to make different gates. Alright, thank you so much.